course recently to have a major disaster on my computer, which meant having to reinstall all my software. Now it brought into sharp focus, and yes, that pun was intended, for me, how important it is to back up all your files regularly and completely. Now unfortunately, there's not one key to press that'll do it all for you. So here is my seven step belt and braces backup plan. Now step one is to back up the catalog. So first we have to decide where to put the backup. And what I've done, it obviously doesn't want to be on, uh, on your hard drive because it isn't a case of if it's going to fail, it's when it's going to fail. They will fail. So all these backups want to be really on some kind of thing that's not on your computer. Now what I've got, if I just minimise Lightroom, you can see that I've got here my Seagate expansion drive. So I've got an external drive connected through my USB port. And on there I've created a folder called Lightroom Backup. So that's what I want you to do. And then in that folder I've created an empty folder called Catalog Backup. So this is where the backups that I do are going to go in here. OK. So now I've done that, I've got to tell Lightroom where that folder is that we've just made. Now if we're going to Preferences, if I'm going to Edit and Catalog Settings, and in the general tab here, you can see this in information, it shows the location of where the catalog is on this. But I want to back this up to a different place. I don't want it to go to Pictures and Lightroom because that's on my computer. I want it to be targeted to my external drive. So this is the backup section and this is where you tell it, well, how often do you want Lightroom to back up? And I want it to back up every time Lightroom exits. And then I'm going to just click OK. And now I'm going to close down Lightroom. So when I do that, I get this dialog, which is to telling me, do I want to back my catalog up? And this does tell you this only backs up the catalog file, not your photos. It's going to back up the catalog every time Lightroom exits. And this is the backup folder. This is where it is. Well, at the moment, it's targeted on my computer again which I don't want. So I'm going to click choose. I'm going to choose a separate place. So now I'm going to navigate to my Seagate expansion drive, which is my external drive, and my Lightroom backups, and my catalog backup. And I'm going to select that folder. So now I've changed it. So now any backup that's made now will go onto my E drive, which is my Seagate, into a Lightroom backups folder, and it will go into the catalog backup folder. I'm going to leave these two ticked because I want to test the integrity and we'll let it optimize the catalog after backing up. And then I've got two options to skip or back up. Well, on this occasion, I'm going to back up. And now Lightroom is backing up the catalog. It may take a while if you've got a lot of images. I've got a reasonable amount in this training file. So what I'll do is I'll just go and have a cup of tea and I'll come back in a minute when it's finished. OK, that's all done. Let's now have a look in this catalog backup folder. And we can see now that I've got a backup of my catalog and it puts the date on so I can tell this is the 23rd of the 1st, 2016 that I created this backup file. And we'll just have a look in it. And you can see that it's a zipped folder, so it's actually compressed, so it's taking less less space up. And it's my Lightroom catalogue and it's a dot lrcat file. So all the sliders I've dragged, all the buttons I've clicked in doing all my edits, they're all in here now. So if I ever get a major failure of my computer, it's just a case of reinstalling Lightroom and loading back in all these catalogue settings. So let's just go back to the previous folder and, and here we can see we've got a folder with that backup in it and it's done on a certain date. Now the next time I make a backup it'll appear underneath here on another date and the next one again and the next one again. Now I don't need to keep all of these backups they're just taking unnecessary disk space up. So what I would normally do is just keep two of them 
So when I get to my third one here, I will delete this one at the top. And then when I put another one on, I'll delete it. So I'll only just keep a rolling couple that's going. So otherwise, it'll just keep filling up my hard disk space. So that's step one completed. All done and dusted. We've backed up the catalogue. Next, we need to back up the previews that were created when the catalogue was created first on the computer. And we're going to do that in the very next video. I'll see you then. Bye for now.